washed up on the shore. I could breathe a little more than I would realize. You can call me crazy, you can call me what you will. You could and Australia's it. first gold medal it's of the London Paralympic Games. Such a long, long way back home. The Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade has an excellent partnership with the Australian Paralympic Committee where we can offer part-time employment for some of our elite athletes while they're training and doing their study. And it also provides them with a potential interesting long-term career option once their athletic career is over. performance. Matt Cowdery of Australia, gold in the 200 IM, and he's done it in three successive Paralympics. So it's been, uh, been an exciting time and our whole swimming team has swum really fast and that's always the best part about these things. If you can go away and get the whole team swimming fast, it's, it's really quite good. But um, personally, to sit down and start thinking about my achievements in any sort of depth, that definitely hasn't, hasn't started yet. It's been amazing. Um, the media exposure of the Games has just grown so much. Every Paralympic since Athens and then Beijing and then into London now as well. It's just been phenomenal and all the facilities are fantastic and the, the volunteers have been amazing and the venues, it's been it's flawless. It felt great winning three gold medals in Beijing. I feel that it was the culmination of 16 years of hard work. So it was a really good way to celebrate all my achievements. What Paralympic sport is all about, it is a late sport and we are here to uh, to do, uh, do some amazing things and the stories behind uh, how these athletes have gotten here is a thing that, that really sets the part the Paralympics and the Olympics. The human element and what these people have overcome to be here is uh, sometimes some pretty special stories. My disability is called arthrogryposis multiplex congenita, quite a mouthful. If someone asked me today, would you like to be born different, I would say no because I've learned to adapt. Swimming for me has always been my passion. I really love the freedom that it gives me. Diversity is obviously invaluable for any organisation that values innovation and creativity. And for the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade in particular, we have a strong interest in developing a diplomatic service that is as diverse and as representative as possible. The things that got me interested in the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade was its reputation and also Working here, you have an opportunity to work over a broad range of areas. You can work on trade issues, foreign policy issues, or over in the corporate planning section. It's such a prestigious um, place to work, and it's really, it's got such a, a great reputation. It's and fantastic. I, I spent six months uh, in domestic legal last year and really enjoyed that. It's a, a great department that, that deals with a lot of stuff across pretty much the whole range of what the uh, department covers. So. Um, I had a lot of fun there and had a, a great mentor in Emil um, and he looked after me very well and, and really enjoyed my time there. I think it's a really good partnership because as an as a athlete you don't really have the opportunities to have career development but through the partnership with the APC it's just opened the door to athletes everywhere. It wasn't something that I ever imagined myself to be, but I couldn't be happier with where I am right now. Fantastic swim from Peter Leake. Last 15, and Wang on his left-hand side is watching Wei on his right-hand side, but it's going to be the Australian who's going to take the 100 butterfly for S8 competitors, and it's a new world record. I can um, in go into the graduate program and go into the rotations in Canberra. That's, that's my goal, so who knows what happens, but that would be the best possible result for me. I'd love that to happen. At the moment, I'm at the point where I'm having a look at my career and also working really hard at uni. There's a possibility that I'll go back to sport, but I'm just striving to achieve a balance in between university work and sporting achievement.
and sporting activities. I'm definitely interested in representing Australia and I always have been and I'm always a, a very proud Australian.